Hi everyone, I am Dr. Babita and in this video we will learn about Morgagnian cataract. So Morgagnian cataract is a type of hypermature senile cataract. Senile cataract refers to an age related cataract. Broadly speaking, any cataract that develops after 45 years of age is known as a senile cataract. So a senile cataract can be of three types, immature senile cataract or IMSC, mature senile cataract or MSC and hypermature senile cataract or HMSC. Hypermature senile cataract can further be divided into two types, Morgagnian cataract and sclerotic cataract. And in this video, we will restrict our discussion to Morgagnian cataract. In an immature senile cataract, some parts of the lens are opaque while some are clear. As the process of cataract formation progresses with time, all the layers of the lens get opacified and this stage is known as a mature senile cataract. Like you can see in this picture here where the entire lens has become white or opaque. Now sometimes due to delay in seeking treatment or due to ignorance, especially in developing countries like ours, the patient does not come to the hospital even at the stage of mature senile cataract and the process of lens degeneration continues. A time comes when the lens cortex becomes liquefied and the nucleus descends down to the bottom of the bag due to the effect of gravity. And this stage is known as hypermature Morgagnian cataract. This is what a Morgagnian cataract looks like on slit lamp. This yellowish brownish shadow that you can see in the lower part of the image is the lens nucleus that has sunk to the bottom of the capsular bag. And the rest of it is liquefied cortex. Now what happens if the patient does not come for cataract surgery even at this stage? In some cases, what happens is that with time this liquefied cortex it gets absorbed and only the lens capsule and the lens nucleus are left behind. As you can see in this image, you can see that only the lens nucleus can be seen. Along with that, you can see these tiny specks of calcification on the capsular bag and there is no cortex. So this is a Morgagnian cataract with absorbed cortical matter. It is important to understand this image and to examine these cases carefully because a differential diagnosis of such a condition could be an inferiorly subluxated total cataract. But in that case, you would find an empty space here or broken zonules or vitreous because the entire lens along with the capsular bag have gotten displaced from their place. But in case of Morgagnian cataract with absorbed cortex, the bag is still in its place and the beam of your slit lamp will form a slit here confirming the presence of a capsular bag. Also just for academic interest, if you want to know why the name Morgagnian, then this cataract is named after the Italian anatomist Giovanni Morgagni. So that is all for this video. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues if you found it useful. And please subscribe to my channel to support free education. Thank you very much.